Hello, dear friends, I am Violeta from Crafting with Be of You. This video tutorial is for my new mandala design asteroid belt. This mandala is made in overlay mosaic crochet technique worked in round from the center out. If you've never worked in this technique, please don't worry. If you know how to make basic single crochet and double crochet stitches, you should be able to make this mandala. Just remember that in overlay mosaic, all single crochet stitches are worked into the back loop of the stitches in the previous round, and all double crochet stitches are worked into the front loop of the stitches two rounds below. We also make slanted double crochets and front post double crochets. I will teach you how to make these stitches in this video tutorial. For this design, I'm going to use yarn from Hobby, uh, Sultan Deluxe Shine, color number uh, 28, black Orlov, and um, another Sultan Deluxe Shine cake, uh, color number 22, Cora Sound Drop, and also Solid Twister, color uh, 148, as accent color. I will also use a two and a half millimeter hook that I think is perfect for this yarn. My color A will be this blue one starting with the center and my color B will be the yellow cake starting from outside. Here are some color combination suggestions. You can also find them in your pattern file. This video tutorial is made as a visual support for the pattern that you can purchase in my store on Ravelry. The link is below this video. The pattern comes with the overview and the photo tutorial for all special stitches, the written instructions, and detailed photo tutorial for each round with diagrams. And one more thing, I made the same design using Red Heart Super Saver yarn, which is medium weight yarn, and the stitches in several rounds had to be adjusted uh, to avoid crowding, which then led to waving at the edges. So in your PDF files, you will find the version of this pattern designed for worsted weight yarn. But this means that several rounds of this video tutorial will not match that pattern. So if you are using thicker yarn, please have the written instructions um, printed out or open on a tablet or a laptop in front of you. And you can still use this video tutorial for the most of the rounds. If you have any questions, Please leave a comment below or contact me in my Facebook group, Vios Crochet Club. If you like this tutorial, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Please share your pictures on Facebook and Instagram and tag my name so I can see what you've created. And now, let's get started! First round, we're going to start with yarn color A. So please make a magic ring or you can make a, a circle made with uh, four or five chain stitches. So my magic ring, let me show you how I do it. Slip knot on your hook, just as you start any chain. Do not tighten the first um, knot, make a chain stitch. Now, please bring this tail up like this as to close this circle and work um, eight single crochet stitches into this circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the seventh and eighth stitch I'm going to work over this yarn tail like this. And then to close this round, we're going to take the hook out of this loop, insert it right under these two loops of the first single crochet stitch at the beginning of this round. Now put the loop back onto the hook and pull it onto the back like this and make a chain stitch. This is how we're going to close each round in this um, design. Please do not tighten this uh, ring because we are going to work into the same circle in the next round. Uh, 
Round two is worked with the same yarn, yarn color A. Oops. So please make a chain stitch and work 16 double crochet stitches around these single crochets right into this circle. So yarn over, hook in the middle of the circle, yarn over, pull up a loop and make a double crochet stitch. And like this, 16 double crochet stitches. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so six more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteenth double crochet. Now please take the hook out of this loop and insert it into this first double crochet stitch right under these two top loops like this from the back. Now put the loop back onto the hook and pull it onto the back, tighten it really well and make a chain stitch. And this is the second round. And now we can tighten this magic ring like this. Okay. So the second round is done. Round three, please grab yarn color B. So we're going to um, grab this yarn and pull it through the loop, uh, through the loop that we had on the hook, tighten this loop and make a chain stitch. And now we are ready to start working the round number three. So in this round, we're going to work single crochets and all single crochets in mosaic crochet uh, are worked into the back loop of the stitches of the previous round. So we're going to work into the back loops only. So the pattern is two, double, two single crochets into the first stitch and a single crochet into the next stitch. And like this eight times. So let's do it two single crochets into the back loop of the first double crochet of the previous round and then a single crochet into the next stitch and repeat like this eight more times two single crochets into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch two single crochets into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch two single crochets into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, all into the back loops, okay? And continue like this. Let us finish this round together. Two single crochets, then a single crochet, then two single crochets. And you know, I'm gonna place this yarn tail here like this so I can work around it and enclose it into my stitches so I don't have to weave it in when the mandala will be done and the last two single crochets did I do it yes, oops two single crochets and the last stitch is a single crochet that is made into the back loop of the last double crochet stitch of the previous round. Now to close this round, please take the hook out of this loop, insert it under these two loops of the first single crochet stitch, put the loop back onto the hook and pull it onto the back. Now to close this round, we're going to take the hook out of this loop, insert it into the first single crochet stitch right under these two loops here, put the loop back onto the hook, pull it onto the back, tighten and make a chain stitch. This is our third round.
round four. Please join yarn color A, tighten this loop and make a chain stitch. And we will start with a double crochet stitch that will be worked into the front loop of the first double crochet two rounds below. So in, in overlay mosaic crochet, all double crochets are worked um, into the front loop or under the front post of the double crochet two rounds below. So let us do it. Yarn over, double crochet into the front loop of the double crochet two rounds below. Then please make a single crochet into the second single crochet of the previous round. So we're skipping the first one and work into the second, into the back loop of it. So single crochet. Then let's make another double crochet. So into the second double crochet two rounds below. And then a single crochet into the first single crochet of this group of two single crochets in the same stitch of the previous round. So this is the pattern for this round. We have to repeat it eight more times. Double crochet into the third double crochet two rounds below. And here we are not skipping any stitches behind. We are working into the second single crochet of the group of two single crochets in the same stitch. Then double crochet into the stitch two rounds below. We're skipping this single crochet stitch as usually we skip one stitch after each double crochet and work a single crochet into the first single crochet of this group of two single crochets in the same stitch. Now let's do this uh, repeat again. Double crochet into the next double crochet two rounds below. And we are not skipping any stitches behind this double crochet and work a single crochet into the back loop of the second single crochet of this group of two. Then double crochet into the next stitch two rounds below. Then single crochet. Oops. Then double crochet into the next stitch. Do not skip any stitches. Work a single crochet into the second single crochet of this um, a group of two. Then double crochet. Then single crochet into the next single crochet. Double crochet. No skip single crochet into the second single crochet of this group of two. Then double crochet. Then single crochet into the next stitch, double crochet, no skip, single crochet into the second stitch of this group of two, then double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, no skip, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double oops, crochet, no skip, single crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And the last double crochet will be made into the last double crochet two rounds below. And the single crochet will go into the first single crochet, so into the back loop of the very first single crochet at the beginning of this round, right here, single crochet. And we're going to close this round by inserting the uh, hook into these two, two top loops of the double crochet, put the loop onto the hook, pull it onto the back, make a chain stitch, and ta-da, round four is done. Round five, please join yarn color B and we will start working single crochet into the back loop of each double crochet and then double crochet into the front loop of the single crochet two rounds below from the corresponding stitch. And let's go single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, 
double crochet single crochet double crochet and in this round we are not doing any increases so you can work a little bit looser than in the previous round your tension can be a little bit looser and like this please continue working all the way and round this round it's a very easy pattern for round number five sixth round please join yarn color a and we're going to start with the front pose double crochet into the double crochet two rounds below so right here and instead working instead of working into the front loop we're going to insert the hook under the post of this double crochet so front post double crochet and make this double crochet sorry front post double crochet a little bit longer than your regular double crochet because it sits a little bit lower than a double crochet worked into the front loop okay then we're going to work two stitches into the next back loop of the next uh, double crochet then front post double crochet then single crochet so this will be the pattern for our next round front post double crochet two stitches into the next uh, stitch sorry two single crochet stitches into the next stitch then front post double crochet single crochet into the next stitch so let's do it one more time front post double crochet two stitches into the next stitch two single crochet stitches into the next stitch then front post double crochet single crochet front post double crochet two single crochets into the next stitch front post double crochet single crochet and like this please work all the way around this round round seven please join yarn color b and we will start with a single crochet into the front post double crochet in the previous round right here into the back loop so let's do it Oops, my my loop i lost it so single crochet into the back loop of this front post double crochet next stitch will be double crochet and front post double crochet into the same stitch which is the double crochet right here so double crochet into the front loop and then front post double crochet around the same double crochet and this is your pattern for this round single crochet and then double crochet and front post double crochet into the same stitch single crochet double crochet front post double crochet into the same stitch single crochet double crochet front post double crochet into the same stitch so now please repeat this round <laughs> repeat this repeat all the way around this round round eight please join yarn color a and make a chain stitch and we will start with two single crochets into the same stitch which is the first single crochet of the previous round so one and two next we're going to work two slanted double crochets together one will be slanted one stitch to the right from the corresponding stitch and the other two stitches to the left from the corresponding stitch uh, all these slanted double crochets i recommend to work them through two front loops of the stitches below because if you only work through 
the um, front loop it's gonna stretch and create like a hole like this and I, I really don't like it I work through two front loops like this okay so here these two front loops one and two I'm going to work through these two loops so yarn over insert the hook into the front loop or two front loops of the front post double crochet the first double crochet here then yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops do not finish this double crochet yarn over insert the hook into the next front post double crochet yarn over pull up a loop Oops. so yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops now you have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through three loops so now we have two slanted double crochets together now let us skip two stitches in the back and work into this single crochet make two single crochet stitches in the same stitch like this then two slanted double crochets together so one slanted double crochet into this stitch and one into this so yarn over double crochet slanted one stitch to the right yarn over double crochet slanted two stitches to oops, to the left and finish them together skip two stitches in the back and work two single crochets into the single crochet and like this please continue working this round two slanted double crochets together skip two stitches in the back two single crochets in the same single crochet two slanted double crochets together two single crochets into the same stitch try not to work this round too tightly because we're not doing any increases here and we need to our um, circle to lay flat so please give it a little bit of room your stitch is a little bit larger especially these two single crochets two slanted double crochets together two single crochets in the same stitch and like this please finish this round round nine please join yarn color b and we will start with two double crochet stitches into the front loop of the single crochet two rounds below the same single crochet into which you work these two single crochets of the previous round so yarn over and let's work two double crochets into the same stitch so one and two next please work two single crochets into the back loop of these two slanted double crochets together one and two then two double crochets into the next single crochet two rounds below and a single crochet into the back loop of the two slanted double crochets together so this is your pattern two double crochets um, in the same stitch then two single crochets in the uh, back loop of this slanted double crochets together then again two double crochets into the next stitch and then one single crochet so let's do it again two double crochets into the single crochet two rounds below then two single crochets into the back loop of two dc's together then two double crochets into the next single crochet two rounds below oops this yarn is splitting a little bit and then a single crochet okay so here we do two single crochets single crochet two single crochets single crochet this is the difference okay so two double oops. so two doubles in the same stitch two singles in the same stitch then two doubles in the same stitch one single 
two doubles in the same stitch two singles in the same stitch two doubles two doubles in the same stitch single into the next stitch and like this please finish this round Round 10, please join yarn color A and we will start with three single crochet stitches beginning with the first double crochet of the previous round. So single crochet into the back loop, single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. So we have our three single crochets, then front post double crochet around these two double crochets together. Skip the stitch in the back as usually after a double crochet, then work two single crochets. And then front post double crochet around two slanted double crochets together. And, and this will be your pattern for this round. So three single crochets starting with the first double crochet so one two and three and then front post double crochet two single crochets front post double crochet front post double crochet then three single crochets front post double crochet two single crochets front post double crochet and like this please finish this round three single crochets front post double crochet two single crochets front post double crochet all the way around this round please work these stitches a little bit looser to avoid curling <laughs> 